Hello and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So um, I got a new seed order in the mail yesterday and I've been placing my seed orders early because I've been finding that um, some things you know you, you can't find them later on in the season in the early season when everybody starts placing their orders so I'm trying to get what I want early. So this one here is uh, from Swallowtail Garden Seeds. Now, I do not work for Swallowtail Garden Seeds. I am not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. I just order from them if they have what I'm looking for. So, uh, one of the things that I got was Bells of Ireland Seeds. Now, I have grown Bells of Ireland for many, many years, and they're beautiful plants. They're great for drying. They have beautiful green flowers on them. And for the last, like, two years, I've been getting crop failures and I decided I'm just going to go ahead and buy some new seeds. Now this one here is an heirloom variety. You can collect the seeds from it, but what was happening was um, I'm pretty sure that the genetics like from the crop failures and from the small flowers, I just lost the genetics for the seeds. So I went ahead and bought these here. Now I do recommend that you chill your seeds for two weeks in the refrigerator and they even tell you that on here before you sow them and these here are going to be going in the refrigerator now bells of ireland seeds do have a lower germination rate and their seeds expire very quickly so you do want to take that into consideration with your bells of ireland seeds and they have an erratic germination meaning that they kind of come up at different times it can be a pretty good uh, span in there like this one 14 to 28 days that's a pretty good span for your seeds for them germinating so you do want to take that into consideration when you start your bells of ireland seeds now they do have a very hard coating on them and when they're outside when the seeds fall when you get your winter time and it you know goes cold and the snow falls on them and it starts warming up that up and down temperature really helps them to germinate so by chilling your seeds it helps a lot when you go to plant them and these do need light to germinate so you want to make sure that you do surface sow them and i do have videos on my channel for growing bells of ireland from seed and you know in previous times it worked really well for me and i grew the bells of ireland but like for the last two years the genetics and the seeds just weren't there anymore so uh, this here's the sunfire corpius I loved the flowers of this one. This is a perennial in zones. Oh, they don't put that on there. Yeah, here it is. Zone four. So I'm guarding a Pennsylvania in zone 5B. And this one here, I loved it so much, I went ahead and bought another pack of seeds of it because I want a lot of plants of this. Um, I went back and I got more of the Dusty Miller. This is the new look. And I also got the Silver Dust. Now, the Silver Dust. I really like the scalloped leaves of that one and this was one of my favorite ones. This one here had more of like a, a rounded type leaf but I liked both of them so I went ahead and got more of these. I went back for more Fairy Queen Salvia. This has beautiful blue flowers on it and I really like this variety so I went ahead and went back for more of this one here. Beautiful flowers. And then um, I seen they had a tricolor colossal pansy. I've never seen this color before. So when I seen it, I decided I was going to go ahead and give it a try and see what it looks like. The colossal pansies have gigantic flowers on them and they're very heavy bloomers. So um, I do have videos on my channel for how to start pansies from seed. And I do chill my pansy seeds for at least two weeks before I sow them. And then um, I got the Colossal Blotch Mix again. And I got like three packs of this one here. I really like this pansy here. Beautiful flowers. And uh, I do already have some pansies growing right now. And I ran out of the Colossal Blotch Mix pansy. So I went ahead and I bought some more of them. They will still bloom for uh, springtime. So, I'm going to be seeing, you know, what these here look like. 
and uh, went back for some old favorites that I have come to really enjoy growing. So as these grow, I'll come back with more videos and I'll show them to you. I'm really looking forward to seeing this tricolor pansy here. And uh, I'm really hoping, you know, that this Bells of Ireland here, that, you know, these do very well. So you can find videos on my channel for how to start all of these flowers here from seed. And I have videos on there. You can see like different updates and things. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. That ties I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank yous for watching. And have a nice day. Bye.